think all this Lemoyne air is free for you? Not a smart move to travel alone in these parts, especially looking like you. <sighs> you threatening me, you piss ant? Stupid bastard's got a problem with the Thor! <laughs> I guess I was told. <laughs> trouble no 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 please. why are you dressed up like that <laughs> i've seen some sick perversions in my time this one might take the prize no no no, no, no. wait please you've got to help me it's that crazy gunsmith he made me dress up like this he's got me chained to the goddamn foot Take a look. Well, I want to see what's in that basement of yours. Show me. Right now. Nothing to no worse down there, I swear. Well, why don't I be the judge of that? Open it now! All right, all right. I ain't got nothing to hide. I got my boy sleeping down there. Such a shame to wake him. You know, him. you can always come back after he wakes up. Tell you about talking to your pa that way. Oh, oh, thank God. Oh, oh, finally. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh you, you I'm sorry. Son. Please forgive me. I know it was wrong. I just couldn't face that he was gone. I was teaching Sammy how to hold the rifle proper out by the river. The recoil shot him backwards. He slipped into the river. The water pulled him downstream so quick. It all happened so fast, I didn't know what to do. I searched up and down that river bank for days. But I couldn't find my boy. I just miss him so much. And you! You remind me of him. You look just like him. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. It's too late for apologies. You just count yourself lucky that I don't kill you for what you did. Don't know what else you want from me. Take what you want. I don't care anymore. Good on you. <laughs> Hey, 
one. What are you in the market for? I need a bath. That's okay. Can you organize? <laughs> Mister? No, Hello? I'm gonna stay. Good morning to you. Good morning. sweetheart. How can I help you? Hit me. You all in here chawing? Well, we out there right fighting. Now. Settle down, fella. I can not believe it. Sunday Southern, you're in my spot. <laughs> now get! Oh, there ain't no cause, no more. Really? Really? Why can't you writers <laughs> leave it at the door? Please, <laughs> fellas. <laughs> Us raiders stick together. Let's <laughs> move.
Charter. Welcome back. Come on, pal. Much better. You're a useful fella to have around. Not everyone would agree. Like who? Bill, for one. Bill don't like nobody who's tougher or smarter than him. Ain't that right, Arthur? Quite right. Which means he don't like many people at all. Except for maybe that Kieran. <laughs> <laughs> See? You learn quick. My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I will. Just make sure it goes into the Good pot. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Good pot. About to take your bullying? Uh, is this you, Casey? Then I'll take your nonsense. Until then, shut up. You better watch yourself, girl. England's finest. <laughs> don't irritate me, boy. The true horse, don't it? How you doing, old friend? <coughs> Fine. It's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Hosea says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fit. Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long over. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fishing. All right, Hurry gentlemen. Up, Let me show you how it's done. Coming past. Okay, go. Yep. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. 
before any of them back there oh, it was us the curious couple and their unruly son it feels good here you did well finding that spot arthur more charles than me it's like i can breathe again thick and soupy as this air is might even do your whistling pipe some good hosea i was once in this country with bessie ah, feels like a lifetime ago it was a lifetime ago but what a life we have lived how well we have fought especially both of you i hope so but now when things are desperate we have to stick with the plan make enough money then find somewhere where nobody will find us but we don't have to hide uh, like where i got some ideas hatching but i need you with me not against me both of you of course still we do need money so keep a low profile especially in the local town after valentine i want everyone on best behavior here no trouble but start turning over the soil and the rocks see what turns up dutch we've got to be discreet imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Passing you. Go on. in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mine and investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train! Don't let them get away! Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry! All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Master, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Looks like a son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty.
bastard. Get the hell away from me. I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. For me, for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well... I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Grays have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, we just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Easy. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just hey ahead there, on the right, outside the, the sheriff's curse. office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Sooner you get him off your horse, sooner we can get him in a cell. Just bring him here. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. Make your friend behave. 
We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone, sadly, to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Now, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of the rebel gold and the marrying cousins or not marrying. Arthur, that's it. Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Huh. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, out there. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? Kinda like this place. Okay. So, Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. How y'all doing? Hello. Hi, mister. Y'all doing all right? Mm-hmm. Gentlemen, follow me. There's a new gang around the front. Hold it. So, how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel, too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies, I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> Hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Trelawneys. What a terrible thought. 
So, you're going back to see that Sheriff Craig? Yeah, I don't see why not. They don't know who we are down here. He didn't seem the sharpest attacks. Neither did that deputy. If he thinks we can be useful to him, he can certainly be... ...useful to us. A little hiding in plain sight. I feel like we're always hiding in plain sight. But sometimes more smartly than others. This is the spot. Down to the left there. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Whoa! Yes, over there on the shore. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, no. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Head towards the middle of the lake. Here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with a good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Arthur's got a bite. That's on the hook, Arthur. There, hooked him. Hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of St. Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckons. <laughs> I would like to see that. Hey, Jose, you remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Ah, uh, this again? I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, so how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. 
Got him. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We'd go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Ha, got ya. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. As a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out all over tall trees and gray plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. You got something biting, Arthur. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way, and she me in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. You got a bite there, Arthur. You're getting the hang of this. Not worth keeping that one. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. Think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Jose. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Uh, no. All right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait till the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. I wish to God I'd have passed her by. I wish to God I'd have passed her by. Taters got burned and so did I. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we three poor mariners newly come from the 
seeds. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round, round, round? Shall we go dance this round, round, round? Hey, there is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round, 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 round. We care not for those martial men that do our state's disdain. But we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round, round, round. To them we dance this round, round, round. And he that is a bully boy, come plant me on this ground of ground. Not let the folks back at camp think that we had too much fun. Indeed not. <laughs> All right. I think I, well, I mean, we gonna be okay. I know. Oh, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. This place will be good for us. I'll give these fish to Pearson. Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Morgan? Uh, I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> Mr. Matthews! Mr. Matthews. Arthur? You should have been a sailor. No, thank you. I like Always to good to see you. Know, one time, just off Everyone's the favorite the uncle. Whales, oh, one. The hey there, Jack. Hi, Uncle Arthur. That looks fun. I guess. Mr. Swanson. Hello, gentlemen. Hey, Arthur. Why you got that guilty look on your face? What are you talking about, Englishman? You're up to something, I know. Yep, okay. Going fishing. The river's around here, famous for the smallmouth bass. Fella I met showed me a couple spots. You want to join me? Ah, I can't fish with you. You're far too good. Oh, come on, come on. Hey, join me. I'll show you a couple of my tricks. There's a spot not too far from here that I've been wanting to try out. Glad you're so excited about this. 
You will be too when you start pulling out smallmouth. Come on. The fish should you be hungry a for the dinner day or something. No. Uh, I get it. We'll leave you alone. I thought you said it wasn't far. Too far to walk, though. No. Yeah, come on. Hip, yeah. Hold. Been a while since we rode out, just you and me. Probably since we went looking for John on the mountain. Uh, yeah. Already seems long ago. How you feeling about everything? Been a strange couple of months. Hey, you know, I can't even return to my country because the price on my head is so big. This? This is nothing exactly new to me. And I'll always be loyal to Dutch. He sees the world the same as I do. If we have to fight, we fight. If we have to run, we'll run. If we must die, we'll die, but we'll stay free. And Dutch, you... You don't feel like, well... That he's doing things a little differently now? You saw what happened with that girl on the ferry. No fight, good or bad, is won without blood. I know that better than most. I think too many people are focusing on Dutch when they should be looking at themselves. What they could have done better. Uh, maybe you're right. We'll cut through to the right here. Whoa! The other day, I rode down to the Lanahatchee River. I caught some beautiful steelhead trout. You mean the Lanahatchee River? No, 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 no. The, the Lanahatchee. It runs right near here. Yeah, but it's pronounced Lanahatchee. Why is everything in English said differently than it's written? Make us feel stupid? Oh, you're asking the wrong feather. Hey, where are you going? Okay, come on. Let's go try our luck. Pretty country. <sighs> Beautiful. Come on, let's go see what's biting. You take this spot, Arthur. I'm going to catch from over to the right there, so we're not. Each other's way. of day really can make a difference they feed early morning or late evening because that's when the insects are more likely to be out we're lucky we got such nice weather but rain can be good sometimes big fish think the raindrops are insects Well, I guess it's still relaxing, even if I don't catch anything. Sort of like staring at the sky. It's your bait, I think. Come use some of mine. Oh, it's not the bait. It's me. I've always been a poor fisherman, especially compared with you and Jose. Just try some of mine. Here. Crickets. Thanks. Yeah. 
is a fighter. Trick is, let him tire himself out. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. I was thinking, you remember that stagecoach we held up in Nevada? Yeah. It was a tip from that crooked lawman in Reno. We opened the door and it's full of women and children. Rich, but women and children. So we let it go and read in the newspaper that the O'Driscolls robbed and killed them all the next day further down the trail. Yep. You know, way back in the day, Homo Driscoll and Dutch were sort of friends. Friends? Well, not friends, but they had an understanding. Ben Combs' mean streak got meaner and Dutch. Dutch wanted to try to live a different way. And now, here we are. Another one. There you go, Arthur. Don't rush it, Arthur. Okay, let's try for another. He's small, but might make a nice meal. Oh, keeping you. It's getting close to nightfall. Fish will stop feeding soon. Let's catch a couple more and then head back. My bag is getting full. to the left as he goes right. It ain't just the bait. I'm gonna head back. You wanna join me, or, uh, you keep trying for these bastards? I'll come. Okay, let's go. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. And he tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. 
What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Damn sons of bitches. Think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Yep. Right, follow me. How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride. Not too bad. Back up north to stretch. Not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for the take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause, as from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half, other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> The fact you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes. See? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter.